All right, Brett, review that game against Northern, man. It's a bit of a funny one, a massive win, obviously, for us because we're 10 points clear in fourth now. But I suppose it was a little bit mared by the plague of inaccuracy which seemed to spread across the team. Yeah, look, a really important win for us, uh, probably to consolidate that top four position. But certainly the goal kicking is probably something we need to work on. Um, you know, I know we hit the post quite a few times, but to sort of have four goals, 20 on the board, I think it's a scoreline I've never seen before. Um, what was the mood like in the coach's box, particularly in the in the third quarter when we kicked 10 behinds in a row? It uh, must have been a little bit frustrating and funny at the same time, kicking three posters as well. Yeah, I don't think any of the coaches are really overly concerned by it because we had sort of control of the game. But it's always nice to uh, put the opposition away, you know, early in games. And uh, we sort of just left the door open a little bit. So we're a little bit concerned about that. But also knowing if we hit, uh, hit the scoreboard properly, um, we'd certainly win the game. And a big game this weekend against Essendon, so second v fourth for us. What do we know about them and, and how do we make sure that we come away with the spoils? Oh, look, they'll play an exciting brand of football. You know, they'll, they'll take it on. Uh, they'll try and get a lot of run from their back half um, you know, and, and repeat entries into their forward 50 and try and lock the ball in. So we're going to have to be really sharp about that, you know, pressure their defenders coming out and just stick to our game style, you know, our contested brand of football. Um, it's stood up so far. We think it's a finals brand of football. So it'll be interesting to see how it goes against the top side. And a couple of milestones for us. We've got Nick Singh playing his 100th game for the club and Lee Masters uh, 150 VFL games this week. Talk a bit about those guys and how good they've been for us this season and, and how special it'll be to get up for them this week. Uh, both the outstanding figures around the club. You know, I remember them you know, playing development football when I was here previously and, and just to see their careers blossom the way they have. It's, it's super pleasing for them, but also the club. Uh, just quality people. You know, Lee from uh, Lake Bogus, Swan Hill, and, and uh, Nick from Bansdale, two country boys that are, are the heart and soul of the football club. So really important we get the win for them. Yep, and four games left. The season's gone like a click of the fingers, mate. So we're in the home straight. Uh, how confident are we that we can finish the season off strongly and then perhaps carry that momentum through to the finals as well? Yeah, look, the team's playing really well at the moment. Really good team brand of football, and I think that's really important. Um, you know, we're hard to play against. We need to continue that. We need to keep our momentum going as we move towards finals. Unbelievable to think we're almost at the back end of July and that uh, finals football is probably only you know, really five, six weeks away. So we need to make sure that uh, you know, we, we stick to our style and our plans and, and you know, see them through.